My name is Mary with Divine Lion um, in Portland, Oregon. I'm going to shoot a Goodwill Bins haul video for you. Show you what I got, what I think I'll sell it for, and other little things like that. I'm located in Portland, Oregon. Um, today I spent about two hours and I got, let's see, I think it was 20, seven pounds of merchandise and it ended up being I believe close to $50 I don't have my receipt right now but um, I've been a reseller for about three and a half years selling at mostly um, local um, vintage stores here in Portland um, but I've ventured out on my own so I'm doing eBay some Facebook marketplace stuff like that so I'm gonna do the haul right now so let's go uh, let's see and I got a bunch of stuff. I got stuff for gifts, stuff to sell, stuff that I like, and not just clothing. So let's we'll start off with this. I've been really interested lately in tarot cards. So I've got this tarot book. It tells you about all of the cards and stuff like that. I love it. And this was about a dollar, dollar twenty nine, I think. Um, just got picked up a couple things for me. I'm not sure if I'll sell this or just wear it. Just a loft extra small floral top. Um, I love playing cards too. I'm a new poker player so got another deck of cards here brand new. It's probably about a dollar, 50 cents maybe. Really cool. Um, got this set of Chronicle Books moon playing cards with NASA moon images on it. It's like a dollar ninety-nine. Got this Hollywoodent, a queer postcard book. That's like a bunch of postcards. It goes a dollar or something. This is, I wasn't sure what this was, but it was clean and it looked new and it was like, you know, barely weighed anything. So I was like, okay, this will be good to put my, just some of my merch in. Anyways, I ended up realizing it's a yoga bag and it's like super cool. It has, like venting on the sides, looks like an Asian style. And it says the brand is Terrain. I've never heard of that, but I love it. So I'll either sell that or keep it. Um, I like to decorate with just like different textiles and colors, and this doesn't really fit my scheme, but I love it. As a $7 price tag, made in Mexico, it's probably a couple, maybe a quarter for this. Put it on your table, whatever, decoration. It's like it's woven wool. Um, thinking about Halloween time, so I picked up this little number and I love gold. So, um, this one, I figured for a costume, but it is pretty cute. Just a little gold, something for Halloween maybe, or just, who knows, I'll try it on, maybe it'll look good. Um, like I said, like not everything is to sell, but we can test them out, give them to people, decide you don't like it, and then resell it, so. My boyfriend picked up this. It says, together we rise, support women and equality for all. I just thought it was cool. On an American Apparel shirt. It looks new. Oh, I love scarves and bandanas and this one. It's, it doesn't have a tag on it, but I thought it was really beautiful. It's just big and feels like silk. You could wear it as a head wrap, like, many little things and it was probably like, yeah 10 cents or something like that I picked up these Sorel like men's work pants these are size 34 they're kind of like Carhartts um, so yeah probably like maybe 30 or something on these um, I thought this was pretty maybe I'll wear it if not see how that goes and sell it it's just a little basic, weighs barely nothing. Um, Banana Republic, size small, floral blouse. It's really cute. And it has some nice sleeve cuffs there. It's a little cute number. Um, I love cats, so I picked up these little cat socks. New with the tags. I love this. I love the print. It's like kind of like a 60s inspired, I guess. Floral. Um, and it has this nice like 
I don't know what you call this, detailing at the bottom. Just super bright. Button front, cute. It reminds me, yeah, 60s, 70s, has some side pockets. This is by Maeve, um, an anthropology brand, and it's a size zero. And I was thinking I would wear this if I do not sell it, but I looked it up and it looks like this could go for like 40 to $60. Weighs nothing, so it was probably maybe like 50, 75 cents. So that's exciting. I love little things to um, dress up, like your house or whatever. If you're having, you could even put this in a bread basket. It's just a really delicate embroidered little piece of lace cloth. Love that. So again, you could do many things with that. I love it. And it weighs probably nothing, so it would be a couple cents. So this brand doesn't bring a lot of money, but I love it. And I feel like my friend and I last week, she got the same one. And it's just the mountain, you know, size medium. I love their like graphic animal nature prints. And it looks like this is cut off and shortened and I love that. So I'm probably gonna keep this just with the wolves and the howling moon. But otherwise this, I don't think we go for more than like 10 bucks, but. Um, this one is just kind of weird and it has dog hair on it. So I'm gonna of course wash these things, but it says plague rats, mortem, so I can't read it, but anyways, it's a band out of New York City. It's a newer band, but they're like, I think like a hardcore band. So I like to try out new things and new bands. And this one's just, just in a large shirt. This one, it was just cute. I like the thing, the image and what it says. What's it say? Let's see, ever make mistakes in life? Let's make them birds. Yeah, they're birds now. Sorry, it's hard to read down like that. It's a 2XL, I just thought it was cute. And these go for like 15 to 20 online. So I'll either give it to someone or put it online. Um, recently I purchased three um, Madewell t-shirts and they were like super on clearance, um, but they were too small. So I picked up this because it was a size small rather than extra small is nothing so excited about just this basic tea for myself um, next we have this really sweet Victoria's Secret size petite 100% silk little nighty love it I think this will go for about 25 I love vintage clothing and I don't always find it, but this one was kind of funny. This is the only really vintage thing I found at the bins today. It's a single stitch. So you can tell by looking at the stitching on the bottom or on the side rather than having two, like my shirt. I feel like this one has, actually they're making them, you know, now with a one, but you can tell easily tell. Um, this is a good humor, single stitch, vintage shirt and it has some like velvet detailing over here like some color transfer but super cute i love these old nostalgic type things i don't i didn't look up a comp on that yet but the shirt i'm wearing my friend i'm from a place called erie pennsylvania my friend gave me this shirt it says mighty fine donuts it was like the best donut place and i think it's still in pennsylvania maybe um for my birthday in august and i love it and this kind of reminds me of something similar like that old tiny hometown feeling um this one is a like a ringer style Henley Harley Davidson. And it's a size large and it says Lattice Motors in Portland, Oregon. Just a cool little shirt. I feel like this will probably go for like 20, 25. Um, this one is a 1990s um, polo sport Ralph Lauren. And it's a size XL. And this is older, so the stitching has the double stitch, but these go for like 30, 35. So I picked that up. I don't do a lot of kids, but I've been picking up stuff lately. I got a North Face jacket last week and it really did just, it sold like that for like 20, I think $3. It weighed nothing. So I'm thrilled about that. So now I'm picking up more kids. This is a super, super cute. Um, boys, size small, 100% cotton, Carhartt, and it's lined with flannel, 
it has these nice buttons, just that thick material. There is a couple spots on here, but I feel like in the wash it'll come out. So super cute, and this will be about 20, I'm guessing. These were kind of funny and a joke at first, but now I'm like, I love these. <laughs> Not for me, but they're just divided um, by H&M, size six. They are like faux leather, like 80s style, like pockets, like running short type things. I figured they would be a good Halloween costume. I looked them up in the comps go for like 20 or $25, which is kind of crazy. They were probably a dollar. This, I do get random stuff. This had a tag on it and it's, um, Target sale tickets on here, but it's a Crystal Lake packable duffel bag, 50 liters, and it goes into like this little pouch here. And it's just nice, cause like when you are going to the bins or you go out of town and like you're gonna go to the bins, um, you need extra space. So I thought this was awesome really. And it was probably, I'm guessing like 50 cents. So I looked online, these go for about 15. Got this cashmere Pendleton gray, like knit woven hat. Probably like, I'm guessing a quarter. And I'm thinking because it's cashmere, probably like $25. Um, this one is a mountain hardware and it's a size medium. I just really like the material. Um, it's kind of interesting though. It has this like asymmetrical with this like slit there and then there's just normal, but it's a nice weight. Um, this one is a medium and it's like that charcoal gray v-neck, just really nice, like, you know, warm weather. Oh, um, yeah, sure. And then this one I got for my boyfriend's mom. She has a really cute dog and we all love mushrooms, the magic ones and the regular ones, just kidding. And this one is a little dog sweater, magically cute. So sweet for her little dog. Oh, what do we have next? I love bandanas. I like the vintage ones. And, you know, I don't always find them, um, but I own a lot of them. Some people find them so much. and I probably have like 40 of them in my own collection. But um, anyways, this one needs to be washed. And it has like some white staining, but it's just a simple 100% cotton made in the USA vintage. It's called Have a Hank. Bandana. Hanky bandana. You can wear it like as a mask, as a headband, whatever. I use it to like apply makeup and stuff like that. It's really good for the environment, I feel like, using these. And like, if you ever do get a cold or COVID or something, you can definitely just blow your nose in these things and wash them. They're awesome. I swear by those. Let's see. I picked up a couple pairs of shoes. Um, these are some Keen. Um, 7.5 women's just like really nice looks like they haven't really been worn leather and yeah nice and I feel like you could go hiking in these are really really comfy and they're my size so you know get to try them out if I want but otherwise I think they go for about 40 and then I picked up these Danner boots I'm not sure of the style. They might be the hunting boot, but they're, I think, a size nine. And they're kind of dirty, but a little bit, but that really doesn't matter in my experience. Um, the soles are Vibram, and they like look like they've never been worn here. Um, I'm guessing maybe like, I don't know, like 40 to 50 would be my guess. Ooh, this is the one I'm so excited about. When I'm like, <laughs> you know, when you, when you, after you leave the bins or even during, you forget like half the amount of stuff you've got that you bought, you know, picked up until, and then you're like, oh no, I really didn't get much. And I kind of felt that way. And then when I got home, I was like, oh my gosh, okay. So these are the Melissa Fry leather equestrian riding boots. And they're my size 7.5. Um, and they're just awesome. So I feel like these go for, just the ranges were very rare, uh, very varied. Um, they varied. Um, some were going for like 40, some like 100 and something. So I think I'm gonna put them up for like 99 if I don't keep them myself, but like pretty good shape. Really good shape, actually. All of this looks really good. The soles look good and they're pretty comfortable. Okay, another random stuff. I'll pick up anything I like. So I actually did not get these couple things I'm gonna show you right now at the bins. I got them yesterday at the regular Goodwill. And um, these are Pottery Barn, set of four, palm leaf, like Monstera type placemats. 
and they kind of did pay a lot, $5, which again, at the bins, these would have been like 50 cents. So it was like a big purchase. Um, but all the Pottery Barn like placemat sets and stuff go for a lot. So I'm gonna probably hope to get about like 40 for this. This doesn't weigh much, so shipping won't be too expensive. I love music and I love vinyl and I love the Beatles. So I actually get these even not even to sell them because I don't know. I mean, like you can pick these up a lot of places, but I still got them and they were like $1.29 each, this one. And I listened to them and even though they looked a little scratched, they work fine. So this is Abbey Road. Then I picked up the Let It Be album by the Beatles. And let's see. The book section is insane. Like it's crazy to buy books anywhere else. So I got two sets of this book because I've read it. It was awesome. I've given a friend one already. It's just a really motivating, funny, quick read. And the tags on these were like $16 from a local store recently. So I got two of these. I'm going to give them like as gifts or whatever. This is kind of funny. I have a young nephew and he's two and a half. And this is like a funny book. Yeah, and these go for like a lot of money. Like, I mean, not to resell, but if you were to purchase a super cute Japanese book. And yesterday I picked up this at the regular Goodwill and I love vases and I have so many of them. And I was like, it was $1.99 and I was like, I don't know, I shouldn't be getting another vase, but like just something, your gut or whatever is like, but I like it. And again, even if I was to give this as a gift to someone, I feel like it's awesome. Make them a flower arrangement, which I love to do. Um, but I looked at the bottom, it was signed, but I didn't realize until I got home. It says Fat Beagle Pottery 2000. And I looked it up and these sell for like 20 to $30. It's just a pottery vase. And this company is from North Carolina. So I'll either sell that or just keep it or gift it. Um, let's see what else we have here. That might be it. I think that is all. Um, but anyways, um, that's my haul there. So yeah, it was about 50, 48 to $50. And just like, you know, the boots alone or this pair of shoes, like almost makes the, the whole thing worth it. Um, I spent about two hours. Um, yeah, it was pretty busy in there. And yeah, the shoe selection was awesome. But it gets so tiring, you know, when you're just like, oh, especially wearing the mask and all of that. Um, but yeah, so that's my haul and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm still getting used to making these videos. I definitely am like, I just get nervous. I'm sure like everybody else. So I'm trying to break through that and just, you know, send you some information and, you know, share my stuff with you, my tricks and whatnot. Um, anyways, if you would like and subscribe, if you like what I talked about, um, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them. Let me know what you're interested in. Um, so I live in Portland. It's, you know, tons of vintage clothing stores and it's just a great place to like, you know, be a reseller really. There's like, let's see, I think like four bins that are near me, Good, Goodwill outlets, um, just tons of like local and some famous, um, pretty famous um, thrift stores. I was recently up until like a year ago for the past like two and a half years I was selling my clothing at a vintage place called um, House of Vintage on Hawthorne and that's right down from my house down the street from my house and it's pretty famous it's huge and yeah so I had space there for a while but um, it's just better cutting out the middleman in my opinion um, and I also did some reselling at a place called Hollywood Vintage which again has some really awesome stuff um, but you're gonna pay, you know, good money for it. Um, so I'm kind of liking this online thing because I can charge less because I don't have rent and fees and all of that. Um, so I get, you know, give people a better deal, cut out that middleman and I like it. Um, so yeah, that's that. And yeah, so anyways, that's a little bit about me. So thanks so much for watching. I'm gonna do another video soon. Check back again, bye.